Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Pride. I have Jeremy Rush, the founder of Johnny Blockchain. The first is this the first decentralized trading bot that you know of? It's the first one that works with Pancake Swap. There is a another trading robot that works with Uniswap, okay. um, but that's on the Ethereum blockchain. So right, you've so got you've got high gas fees, haven't you? you right. Know so this is way cheaper, guys. We got the first pancake swap decentralized trading bot johnny blockchain uh so take it away guys tell tell me about johnny blockchain the trading bot and everything and yeah let me know well John, johnny blockchain uh started its life out as an arbitrage bot and it was on centralized exchanges like um uh binance kucoin hit btc you know there was there was a lot of different um exchanges that we worked with but the problem is with uh, arbitrage is that you'll have two different tokens with the same ticker so you know you could end up at buying one token on one exchange and then when you've got to sell it on the other exchange it's not the same token it's got a different con contract address and all that um so we moved away from the arbitrage side of things on the centralized and then what we found was that People were getting nervous when it came to centralized exchanges. What with Cryptopia in New Zealand going down, then FTX and, you know, BlockFi. And, and, and there's so many other ex centralized exchanges that are gone down or under the eye of the SEC. Mm -hmm. And people like decentralized. So what we did, we, we built, we started to build a centralized robot first at work with Binance.com and Binance. Um, Dot us and then once we got the concept we then wanted to build it so that it would work with pancake swap problem is with pancake swap it never had any code for you to interact with their website there was nothing you could find on their on their documentations for doing actual trading bots so what we did was we built it for uniswap and as i say with uniswap they mainly use Ethereum. Most of their liquidity pools right. are in Ethereum. They've got uh, Binance Chain and they've got Avalanche and they've got Polygon and, and, and other chains, but there's not much liquidity there. So there wasn't opportunities to trade. So what we did was we built it on Ethereum and then launched it onto the Binance Smart Chain for Uniswap. But the great thing about Uniswap's code, PancakeSwap copied them. So it's exactly the same code. So we could apply the same bot over to Pancake Swap. Then we spent the next um I don't know how many months. We've we probably we've been 18 months. And if you remember, I was in China and, and yes. we was hoping to be very close to that. And I don't know how many months ago that was, but I think it was um, you know, in the in the four uh, months, five months ago. Yeah, four or five months ago, something like that. So we we was launch, trying to launch Johnny Blockchain with the launch of another platform that never came about. But it got to the stage where it was tomorrow. It was tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It was tomorrow. We kept finding bug and we kept finding problems. Now, what we did is we actually launched. This is the seventh smart contract trading plat, um, that, that we launched onto the blockchain. So the, the trading's done through a smart contract and Johnny Blockchain's robot. So basically, at the moment, we're only working with um, your, a MetaMask wallet. We are looking to bring on other wallets as well. But first off, we're, we're just with MetaMask. So you need a MetaMask wallet. Um, and you obviously need a Johnny Blockchain account. And I'm sure you're going to find a link below this video for Pride's yep. uh, link there to come and join Johnny Blockchain. Now, you can create a free account and then... You can have a look round. You can even set up a trading robot to get the idea of how it, how it all set up, but you can't launch it until there's a few steps that you need to go through. Right. But the we launched literally, I would say now, uh, about a week and a half ago with this smart contract, this final smart contract. And then we spent a few days making the website uh, mobile friendly we just got one more page to do which is the registration page so people can use it on their mobile phones or you know a mobile device like a tablet or something like that so yeah. we're 99.9 percent .9%, uh mobile friendly you can obviously use it with a pc 
and you don't have to once you've set things up you don't have to have your computer on and you don't need to you know be on the internet you don't have right. to watch you can set your bot up once it's set up you can more or less set it and forget it you know right. obviously like with any trading robot it can run into small problems like maybe you don't have the funds for it to carry out a trade in in your metamask wallet and it will stop the bot sometimes we get a, a communication between uh pancake swaps liquidity pool and and it won't do the buy or it won't do a sell um could be the there's too much activity i mean but so you get little tiny things that you might need to log in once a day and just check that everything's all right but in general you can set it up and forget it you know yeah. that's the main thing and providing you're choosing a a cryptocurrency i think in my opinion that you don't mind holding there's some good money to be made so if you're trading bitcoin for example you know we've got some bitcoin um accounts so bitcoin users that are trading bitcoin with ustd and they're making you know one and a half to two percent a day trading bitcoin now for me i don't mind trading bitcoin because i'm not worried if the price goes down if the price plummets and the good thing i want to say with johnny blockchain as well is you can have a 99.99 percent .99 drop in the market providing the token that you're trading finds a bottom johnny blockchain will make you a profit and start to exit out of those trades you know that you that you may be put in that the bot had put in above um for example if you, let's say you bought a coin and and it was ten dollars a coin and you bought the coin and then it dropped and it went down to a penny any normal trading bot would say well that's it i'm sorry you've lost you've lost all your money and if you bought a coin like that and you held it you've lost you know but mm -hmm. the beauty with a trading robot of course it can't stop the market from dropping but when the bottom is found the bot can make a a, a profit start to trade at this lower level you know you might bought up here and it's down here so to speak and if the bot can make a profit down this bottom bit you know where it's right down here. it doesn't matter if it doesn't recover right up to here if it makes a profit out of there it uses a proportion of that profit to bring down the dollar cost average that you paid in up the top there so it starts to bring these trades down, what you paid in, and it will get to the stage where it can sell all the trades that was open and make you a profit. And, and that's really, that's unique to Johnny Blockchain's robot for a DEX robot. Now, there right. is centralized robots that have a similar sort of setup. Um, you know, we've got some competitors in the world that will... That, that, but they only trade with centralized exchanges. They don't trade with decentralized exchanges. Now, there is robots. You can go and get them online. If you Google, if you go to Google and Google decentralized trading robot, you'll find a ton of them that you've got to download it, implement the code onto your server, get that code working, leave that server on 24 hours a day using your internet connection, your <laughs> bandwidth, and it will trade for you. Well, you're not doing none of that. You're not got no software to download. Right, that's what I like about it. Yeah, and and it's the same way with these these. You know, if you go and buy a bit of code off the shelf, so to speak, that's you've got to sort of tweak it and get it to run. It will run, and you then got to create your own smart contract because the robot needs to trade with a smart smart contract. When you mm -hmm. interact on Pancake Swap, Uniswap, I mean, all these decentralized exchanges are all liquidity pools sitting in a smart contract. They're decentralized. They're deployed on the internet. Nobody can corrupt, take the smart contract down. That's basically what I want to say. Obviously, they can pull liquidity from a smart contract if the liquidity is not locked. But once the smart contract's on the, on the web, you know, on the blockchain, they'll have to make another smart contract and dump that one in the bin. But it's always there. They can't delete it once it's up there. That's the, the thing. All they can do is create new smart contracts. Uh -huh. um, and that's what Pancake Swap is. It's a series of smart contracts that hold the liquidity for a particular trading pair. And then what we do is we trade with Johnny Blockchain's trading smart contract. We'll trade with those smart contracts and how it works 
is basically, let's just say you've got $50 in your USTD on the Binance Smart Chain sitting in your MetaMask and you want to trade with Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. You approve the USTD. With let's, the let's, let's, contract. Let's, let's just get into the platform. That'd be probably easier for people to understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me present my, my uh, account. I'm sorry I ramble. I get excited. I know. I'm excited too, but... <laughs> All right, this is let me go to the home page first. This is the home, this is the home page right here, guys. You come to Dry Blockchain. If you click the link in the description, it'll bring you here. That's and the getting started page. That's the if you take away yes. the bit of the URL that says Johnny uh, forward slash da 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 da, you'll yep. get to the home page. Yeah, you should so be I'm, able to do that in there, Pride. Yep. Now I, let's let you guys know. I set my account up yesterday, and guys, it's pretty pretty easy. I can't. I mean, it's so easy that I I was like. I'm shocked. The best thing to do is go to the step by step user guide down the bottom. Click on the step by step user guide, um, and then this will bring you to. Let me see. Click on it. This will bring you to uh, Johnny Blockchain Dex Spot on a PC user guide. These are all YouTube videos, and it pretty much breaks it down. These videos aren't too long at all. They're very concise. You know, for the first one, just watch this first. Watch this second. Watch this third. You know, such and such, such and such, such and such. If you follow these steps, it is totally easy to do. Of course, you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I answer all comments as well. But this is all you need to do is follow these what, seven videos, and you'll get you right started right up. Just in the and all those videos there, Pride, they're probably the maximum is about three minutes long. Yes. And I, and I set my wallet, I, I did mine last night. I set it up. And, uh, I watched your videos because I had my company. I had a couple questions, so I went back and just kept going back and forth to the videos. But I got it started. Here's my dashboard. I actually set up one, two, three, four, five crypto bots about maybe about 10 hours ago, I would say. And uh, these two are already are in profit, as you see 0.93% ROI on this one, 0.1.49% ROI on my link bot. So I got a Bitcoin bot, a Link bot, AVAX, AVAX bot, an ETH robot, and an S Fun uh, robot. And these things are easy to set up. But one quick question that I had for you, uh, Johnny, is uh, once I click on like a, the settings, mm -hmm. I want you to explain the average profit settings and the independent profit settings. That's the one that I couldn't find a video on. Yeah, there is a video at the on the Getting Started page uh, towards the bottom. I'll okay. just tell you what it is first. Um, not on the get on the user guide. So let me just go to the user guide first. Right, let me go back. Let me see. And I'll I'll I think it's right down. Let me just find it. Um, the average yes. If you go down towards the bottom, is a, a section called bot settings. On the on there. So if you go down bot settings, keep going down. There you go. So you got the last video there. Average and independent bot settings. Oh, okay. and, I didn't see that. That. and scroll down. So that, that video explains that. Um, but basically, in a nutshell, there's two settings there. We've got uh, an average, which uses a martingale formula. And if you're familiar with a martingale formula, it's basically if you if you're uh, trading or you're betting, whichever you know, whichever you're doing, and you bet with a, a dollar. Say you're on the roulette table, for example, and you bet that the, the red's going to come in and you bet a dollar on it. And if it loses, the Martingale formula is simply just telling you to double up. So the next yeah. trade will be $2. The next trade after that would be $4 and so on. So if mm -hmm. you go down the settings below, um, if you scroll down your screen, you'll see there that the first trade, depending on what you've got, you've got that trading with $20. So the first mm -hmm average one there is $20 and if you see the next average one that's in blue it's then $40 and then the one after that is $80 you know so there's free free um martingale formulas that we use or martingale strategies now the independence so the first off the the um the um in the average setting is is designed to catch those big drops in the market the bigger okay. drops because if you look there, um, you know, you've got lot zero, which is ground level where your bots bought in, then you've got lot one. Now, if we're looking from left to right, it says minus two percent. <coughs> so that means that the price has got to drop at least two percent before it triggers another buy. Now, okay. 
It could drop by 4%, could drop by 6%, because what's got to happen, it's got to come down. And then there's got to be what's called a pullback in the market. So it's got to turn, start to turn back around before it buys. So if it dropped by 2% and then carried on going down, the bot wouldn't buy in. It would wait until there's a reverse by a half a percent. So if it did drop by 2% and then had a reverse, you'll be buying back in the market the second lot or that first lot after number zero. You would be buying back in at one and a half percent drop in the market. So those independent ones are basically to pick up small movements in the market. Mm -hmm. You see, so because if you look at between the first uh, average and the second average, you've got what two, four, six, eight, a minimum of eight percent drop in the market before yeah. it would uh, trigger out that that second um, that second uh, average there. You see, so oh. it's picking up bigger drops in the market. But uh, if you add up all of those drops that are there. It comes to 78%. If you scroll right down the screen, you can add more lots on the end if it got to a stage where a coin did dump and you think, well, this is now, you know, you get these coins that come out if you're trading the wrong type of coin. A coin comes out, it does this launch pump, and then it dumps and it finds its bottom and it settles. So if that was a 99% drop, and it was that was the settle. Well, that's where your bot's going to trade. It will trade down there. So that's what the uh, average in independence. But there is a video that goes into that. Okay. So you got what one point one point four nine percent there. Yes. In less than ten hours. hours. In less than ten hours. Yeah. Yeah. So you know that's 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 pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Um. I've I've you see what I did was I've got a lot of bots running. And I, I started with um, 900 and something dollars. I'm up to $1,400. So, you know, and that's been about 20 odd days now, I think it is. So I'll, I'll do a video on it at some point. So you start, you say you start with 900? $900 in my wallet. And then you're at 1500 or 1400 Now I'm at 1400 When I did a, uh, when I looked on, on, um, on Monday, I was at 1400 and something, I think, or. I can tell you what it is that they go to my thing. And that's in 20 days, 500 bucks profit in 20 days. Yeah, 500. But and I'm only trading, and, and I'm not, when I say trading um, with a, a, a thousand, I'm not trading with a thousand. It's because the bot doesn't end up using the thousand. So right. you see, when you set up a trading robot, it says to you, well, look, let's assume that the coin that you're going to trade is going to drop by 78%. And rather than you just be holding a, a coin that you're waiting for the price to go up, we'll use a trading strategy like any trader would do. You know, they, they will do dollar cost averaging in um, as the market goes down. And then they'll start to sell their lower profits, which will bring the dollar cost averaging of what they spent above, you know, trades that they can't trade. Because if you're just trading, you know, buying something, holding it and waiting for the price to go up, well, that's great in a bull market, but it's not when you're in a bear market, you know, because you end up holding it. I mean, I've got, I mean, I don't mind holding Bitcoin, but I bought Bitcoin that I've had to hold for two years because I was buying Bitcoin over the years. And, and you know, yeah. I bought Bitcoin at $60,000. Mm -hmm. And I bought Bitcoin at two hundred and forty, uh, four hundred and forty dollars. So, the one that I bought at four hundred and forty dollars, well, that's way in profit. But the one I bought at sixty thousand dollars is not in profit. But mm -hmm. because I dollar cost averaged in over the years, I've my Bitcoin is not cost me that much at all. You know, probably right. the average price I've paid is about twelve thousand dollars that I've paid for. A Bitcoin, and some and guys, of them are bought at sixty. I just want to show you a couple of features in here. Just how easy it is to set up a trading bot. So you can go here, you click on this little plus after you fund your account, of course, and uh, you can pick the pairs that you want. I mean, look at all these pairs that you can choose from. You got ULX, GGG, Cake, Rat BNB, Bitcoin, XRP. This goes on Ethereum. These are all on PancakeSwap. All these different pairs you can choose from.
to trade with. Look at this. If you want to trade, and if you, it's so simple to trade. I'm just, I'm just going to show you one just to, just to, uh, where's cake? I'm going to do cake. Cake USDT. You can, you can type in your, in your keyboard and it will shortcut to cake as well. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, I can just punch in there. Yeah. yeah. I can just punch in cake and it'll come up. I can just punch in USDT, changing my name to my other uh, bot to, uh, cake robot. And then, you had the infinite until so stop. This means you can keep constantly making profit right here. Infinite single if you want to do it one time, one one sale, one one buy, one sale. Yep, that's and it. Yeah, one buy, one sale. So you're you're basically holding it there and hoping the price yep. is going to go up. And then I just go over here and change, approve the cake so that so that the buy can take the uh you know the can can authorize the trade. And you just approve it in your MetaMask. And this will come up approved. I already approved my USDT because I already have bots running on USDT. But this is the first kick bot that I'm going to uh, create. And then this will confirm me a MetaMask wallet. And then uh, you can set so your profit. You, just, just to say there, uh, Pride, while you're mm -hmm. on that bit of approving, it's almost mm -hmm. good to set up a, a new uh, MetaMask account that you just keep for Johnny Blockchain. Yes, that's what I have. See? Yeah, yeah. My account so right here. We go here. It says this is my Johnny Blockchain account right here. Yeah. So we so make sure we, that, don't, we don't see that obviously because I think you're sharing a, a screen rather than the, the oh uh, okay the tab yeah yeah but create a separate uh MetaMask account because and you cannot use a a, cold, a hardware wallet so just make sure you set up a a, a separate MetaMask account. Just name it Johnny Blockchain. Fund it with USDT or USDC, right, Johnny? Yeah. Yeah. Or USDC. Yeah. Or USDC. And uh, just send some money over, send some BNB over, a little bit of BNB for transaction fees, and uh, some USDT or USDC and get started. So this is my, I just got to approve. Now, average profit settings, this is what we were just talking about just now. So if I set this at, this is cake. So cake is not that volatile. So a good profit trigger, what would you say, Johnny, would be? Well, uh, I, I'm, I personally use just the default settings, you know. Point eight. Um, but uh, you can obviously change those settings. These are the default settings. You know, you can put in a half a percent or 0.2 of a percent, whichever you feel is okay. Um, obviously, when you're trading on um, decentralized, you're paying a blockchain fee. Mm -hmm. And that fee doesn't always go on how big you're sending money. You know, you could send $100 to a smart contract or somebody else's wallet, and it will mm -hmm. cost you, you know, 15 cents and you could send four dollars and it will still cost you 15 cents so you've got to be mindful of that the bot will take into account that whatever you're trading okay. um but yeah so i i i've got a cake one running um i've got two cake ones running i've got them on the default settings i must admit okay all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna up this up a little bit because i'm just gonna put 40 bucks so i can trade some more because cake is only two bucks i think and before you, you save that, before you huh? save that, can you see now you're saying 40 bucks? If you go down just a little bit to the top there, at the top there, it tells you on that column there how much you would need in your MetaMask wallet if the market dropped by 87 or 78%. Can you see that? It says 1,244. Right at the top of the screen, it says. Oh, yeah, there. right here, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, but... You know, you don't need that in your wallet because, mm -hmm. you know, if, if unless we're trading a token that we don't have no faith in at all and we think it's going to dump. But, you yeah. know, for example, you're trading Ethereum, Cake, Bitcoin, you know, the, a, a lot of the top 100 coins, they don't tend to drop very quickly. They might drop by, and it might sound a lot, they might drop by 20% or 30%, but they don't go down by... 80% or 90% normally, you know, that's what the, yeah. so you're not going to need that much money. The most I've ever spent actually is on a cake one. And I did, I just did a, a, a test and I, I changed a lot of the settings just to get it to buy, to mm -hmm. see what would happen. And it, it went down, I went down 40 lots. It did 40 trades. Then it started to make a profit and then started to cut, Eat, uh, you know, bring down my dollar cost averaging. But I was only doing that for test purposes 
when we were programming, you know, and I've still got that bot and it's still making me a profit. So you know, 20 bucks is, is uh, sufficient is what you're trying to say. Yeah, well, 20, maybe if you're going to trade with 40 bucks, you you know, you want to have, um, you know, say three times that amount, you know. So uh, 120 bucks you want to have in your wallet, uh, something like that. Then you've got enough then if it does drop down, you know, sort of 10 percent or so. Okay, well, I don't have 120 bucks in my wallet right now because I got all these bots going. But it doesn't matter because if your bot, if you if you don't have, if it can't do a trade, it just stops the bot. Yeah, it's, it doesn't break anything, does it? You know, it's not gonna. Yeah, you know, it's not gonna come around your house and beat you over the head with a pillar. So I'll save that in this. No activity so far. So I just wanted yeah. to just did. Right? So you see, see that bot that you've got the link one. Is it is it link where you've made that yes. bot? Yes. If you yes. click on that magnifying glass. Can you see it to the right there? Click on that. That opens up the trade. Now, these trades to show you are on the blockchain. So they're not, it's not a Ponzi thing. It's not an ROI contract where people are paying in. If you go to the contracts empty. Now, those little blue circles with a number in, you've got that, that's it. You can click that and it will open up the blockchain for that transaction. So it'll show you that on the blockchain. And then if you went to the sale side, there's another lot over there, which has got the green and then the blue circle just before it. You can click on the blue circle and that will open up open up the sale on the actual one that made you the profit. Okay. And if you look there, if you look at if we look at these numbers and we go, we got the date, then we got the lot on the left hand side. Then it's got it's traded with $20. And then it tells you the amount of whatever that coin was link it bought. Then it tells you the date and time. Then it tells you uh, the amount of link that it sold. And then it tells you the return it got. Now, I can't quite see that, but I think it says $20.57. Yes. Is it? Yes. And then in your green circle, what does it say? Oh, the green the profit in the profit column. What does that say? Uh, 30 cents 30 cents so the bot actually returned 20 dollars and 57 cents to your wallet but out of that 57 cents you had some blockchain fees to pay mm -hmm. so the bit that you see in the green is the actual profit that you made but you actually got sent to your wallet 20 dollars and 57 not 20 dollars and uh what was written i can't see it that well i'm afraid uh, what's written in that green there, you know? My 30 cent? Yeah, let me make it bigger. Is it? Yeah, 30 cents. So you're, you had $20.57 sent to your wallet, and the bot shown that you made 30 cents. So the other 27 cents was blockchain fees. Okay. So you're, that's your true earning at the end there. And then you've got the same for, you know, you've got your AVAX one there. You'll be able right. to check each transaction on the blockchain, you know. And again, that's there, you see that says $30.56. Uh, $30. That's what got returned to your wallet. But out of that, you would have paid some BNB, uh, you know, uh, trading fees or uh, blockchain fees. So you actually your profit after the fees was twenty eight cents in that. Case. And this is the, and this right here is the new one that they just opened up. Right? Yes, it. So that's that's opened up. Obviously, it tells you you spent thirty dollars, how much AVAX you bought, um, and what the profit, profit level is. So it's telling you it's what what the price needs to get to before the bot triggers the profit. It doesn't mean it's going to take profit at that time because the price could go above that. Um, for example, so like this, one, like S Sorry? fund, like this one right here. If I click on this one. Yeah. What says an error? You had an error there. So if you go to the error, it'll tell you what the error is, and it says not enough USTD oh. in the wallet to do that trade. Okay. You so so I just added, I just you obviously one. have uh, uh, have corrected that now because the yes. bot that would switch off your bot basically. So yeah, it stops the on. bot doing false calls. You know, saying, "Well, yeah. we tried to do the trade." You didn't have the funds in your wallet. Um, you need to pop another $20 in and then switch me back on and then I can carry on trading. Okay. But what you find is, is that when you set up this, let's say you've got uh, $40 in your wallet and you set up two trading bots. Mm -hmm. One trading bot 
and let's say they both go and buy a lot. They both go and buy a trade. So now you've got nothing left in your wallet. Now, there might not come a time where you need any more in your wallet because the bot can make a profit, put back the $20, and it can buy again. Put back in your wallet the $20 plus the profit and buy again. Then if it does need to buy and you don't have the funds, all it does is it stops the bot. It doesn't, um, you know, then obviously the bot can't do a buy or a sell because it's stopped. But, um, you know, you will either add more funds to your wallet so that it can do another trade. Or you'll just have to sit and wait for the price to go up, you know? Yeah. Uh, what else do you want to go over? You want to go over? Uh, let's let me show you guys the. Uh, so if you want to, if you if you join Johnny Blockchain and you want to promote as well, uh, you want to bring other people in. There's a four level affiliate commission. Okay. Over there. When you want to, if you you can either access the the Dex trading robots, which means a decentralized trading robot that trades with Pancake Swap or Uniswap, that costs you twenty five dollars a year to get access to it. Then after you've paid that twenty five dollars, you don't pay anything unless your bot pays makes a profit. Obviously, you've got blockchain fees that you will pay, but you won't pay any other fees unless your bot makes you a profit. So you've got to make a profit. So you're paying $25 out of pocket. And then you've got to have a little bit of BNB to cover the transaction fees. And then basically, the, then you only pay fees once your bot starts to make you a profit. Now, with our closest competitors, there's two of them. I'm not going to mention their names, but there's two of them. One of them, to get the same amount of access, you have to pay him $1,400 a year. Wow. To get access to the bot. Plus, they charge you a trading fee whether the, the bot creates a, pof, a profit <laughs> or it makes a loss. Whatever it does, loss or win, you charge a fee. Now, if you're paying $1,400 in and you're only trading with, say, $20, you know, you're not, it's, you're, it's going to be a long time before you get your money back, ain't it? Yep. And then I also, like that, I also like that they have a, the DEX fee wallet top up. Where it automatically sends like BNB, like I have mine set at 0 0.01. My BNB balance is less than. I oh, know that's they're, they're separate things. So what you've got here, if we're looking at the left screen, left side of the screen, mm -hmm. on along the bottom there, you've got the Dex trading access, okay, which is what mm -hmm. you've got. Then we go again to the to the right of that, and you've got Binance API key. So you can add Binance.com. It's not Binance.us. Oh. So Binance.com. And then those buy then settings on there is for your Binance. So if you oh, add your API it, keys on, and that yes, doesn't can... matter unless you've got API keys connected, and it'll make sure that you've got BNB in your Binance account to cover the trading fees because Binance charge you a trading fee. Okay, I got you. Right. Well, if we look above that now, we've got this top up the wallet now, and you've got this Dex fee wallet top up. So mm -hmm. the Dex fee wallet top up is BNB that you send to the smart contract, so that when the trade's done on the blockchain, there's fees for to cover your trade. That's why, if you remember, when you got back your um, your profits, you got more back into your wallet. So that mm -hmm. main basically says, well, for that trade, we're giving you all the money back, and then you keep that money. Convert it to BNB and put that back into this uh, BNB wallet there, which will be for the smart contract to carry out the trades. Now, okay. when you make a, a trade, you've got a top up wallet there on the left hand side. Now, that's to pay your twenty five dollars that you would do for accessing either the Dex bot or the Binance bot. So obviously, uh, bot. And then you need to have a balance in there of about five dollars or so that covers your software service fee. So we charge a software service fee for every profitable trade, not a losing trade. Every profit. So, so that comes out of the wallet balance right here. And that comes out of that wallet balance there. And that percentage is 25%. So if you make a dollar, you pay 25 cents. You mm -hmm. keep 75, 25 cents. And then from that money, the company keeps some because that's how we make our money. 
And then the other is spread across four levels that pays you for your directs down another three levels after your direct. So you can earn four levels of commission. So every time somebody does a, a profitable trade, if they're in your team, whether they've been uh, introduced by you or one of your directs, down to four levels, you'll earn a commission. So it's, a, it's, another, it's another way of building up a team um, and, uh, you know, for them to start making, you know, so you've got, you've got, there's a guy there, you're showing their emails there, you know, but you might not want to do that. Oh, okay, let me go back. Yeah. Um, but so you, your team there will, will earn, will, once their robots start to make a profit, you'll get a, a commission. When they activate the, um, you know, they pay that $25 a year, mm -hmm. you'll get seven fifty dollars out of that uh, for the first level. And then there's a few other payments. I forget what they are now, but again, it's four levels. Okay. So you should, with the, the robots so far, we found, if you go on that DEX, can you see that it says DEX trends? Can you see that yep. tab there? So mm -hmm. these are the high performing bots since this last launch wow right? since this since 1600 this, this, smart, RR. this smart contract has launched literally uh four or five weeks ago okay yeah. it's only been up we've only really opened it up for the members if you like um we've started promoting it in the last week and a half two weeks so yeah. you know that ggg the gaming coin uh-huh percent over 58 bots can you see mm. that i need to create one of these yeah and all you do to create one of those you just click on that that uh that cross sign you you know what you you like with this johnny blockchain with the you see these percentages and you're like a you're like a kid in a sweet shop you want to yeah. have that and you want to have that and you start and i'm trading i think my bots total up to about seven grand and yet i'm only got 1400 in my account now so I'm trading, I'm over, I'm over more trading with more than what I've got. But mm. obviously, if the bot, if every bot needed to take to do all the trades, go right down 39 levels, then I would need seven grand. But it's never ever gonna happen, you know, because most I've got one or two bots that have gone, I've got one bot that's gone all the way, which is that cake one I was telling you about. I've got another, most of the other bots that have gone down a little bit further have gone down maybe five or six levels, you know, six, five or six levels on that trading. Yeah. But most of them stay around one to uh, zero to three. So four lots, you know. So, you know, you don't you don't tend to uh, need all that I got, money. Yeah. I got these two right here. Yeah, link, link. I mean, look at that, 318%. Yeah. I mean, that's just crazy. And there's only 23 bots. Look, you can see the numbers of bots that are set up in that, in those coins. And you know, there's the good thing is, as Johnny Blockchain starts to get more and more members, mm -hmm. these liquidity pools are going to see a lot more activity. And so that will create more volatility for the trading bots because you want volatility for a trading bot to work. I mean, that, that GGPT was a good bot. I used to have that, but then it sort of slowed down a bit. And now Cake is coming up the ranks. There. Yes. And Man, I'm going to give me about five more bots right later on the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> Especially when you start seeing the profits coming, the ROIs coming. Yeah, I'm going to set up next week. I'm going to set up a new account because I, want, I don't want to show my uh, account because people, it's been running for some time while we were testing. So I'm going to set up a new account. I'm going to put thousand dollars into my MetaMask wallet, and I'm possibly going to set up one or two bots, and I'm going to be trading with maybe three hundred dollars at a time. You know, so I want to see those because if I, you know, some people are getting sort of seven percent, two percent, five percent, one and a half percent a day. You know, depending on what what you're trading, what bot you're trading. And there's nothing worse because I've got some bots that are making me, you know, 7% a day and I'm only trading with $20. And I think, oh, if only I was trading with, you know, a bigger a bigger amount of money, then I would be making a, a better income. But the original contract, when we did it on the, um, or the original trading bot, when we was on Binance, just on the central, I was getting 20% a month. But I think now this one, I'm going to be getting somewhere maybe 50, 60% a month, you know? 
but it's about i think it's a the, 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 the thing is to try new bots with small amounts you know trade with five dollars and if it works and you think this bot's doing well you can create another bot and put a bigger money in right. you know because then that way you're not trading because if you if you are uh, there's some of the i want to do some for every trade that's what i want to do eventually um but if you spread yourself too thin you don't you could you've only got to have one bot that's not performing and you've got money tied up in it because it's not performing that well and then you've got another bot that's really performing well and you haven't got any extra funds so it's always better to start trading with smaller amounts and then when the bot does well duplicate that bot with the same settings and everything like that but just put a, a bigger trading lot in. what's the smallest amount you can trade with on on pancake i think it's i mean whatever you can go to pancake i think about three three dollars maybe five dollars you can trade anything you want on pancake can't you but you've yeah. got to be careful of the blockchain fees because if you can trade with 50 cents but if the blockchain fee is you know 15 13 cents to sell yeah. a buy and 13 cents to you know or 15 cents to sell you got 30 cents there so the the boat would the bot will know that but it would have to have a high pump in the market for it to make you a profit so that trade would hang around where if you're play, trading with a bigger amount then the market's not got to move that much for it to take care of the trading fees if that gotcha. makes sense you know because mm -hmm. if you've got one percent of a, uh, a dollar it's you know it's what it's a penny but if you've got one percent of um you know, uh, of a uh, of a hundred dollars, then it's a dollar. You know, so that it would it by making a dollar, it's got enough to pay all the trading fees and close out at just moving and moving in the market of one percent. But on the smaller trade, it would have to move three or four percent for it to get you a profit because it, you know, it has to say well the blockchain fees are going to be around about 13, 15 cents. You know, because that's the average yeah. what you'll yeah. pay. So it it's um it's not always good to be too small. Okay. Well, good, man. I didn't want to keep you too long. It was about 40 minutes now. So, guys, if you got any questions, you know, I'll put the link to the Telegram as well in the description below. I'll put the link to Johnny Blockchain in the description below. I say, you got any questions, put them in the comments. I answer all comments. If not, I can get to Jeremy who can answer comments for me to get back to you. But uh, thank you, guys. Like I said, Pancake Swap Decentralized Trading Bot is out and making people all eye, as you've seen, including your boy. Um, so that's it for the day. Like I said, thank you, Johnny, for showing up and uh, going over to the, thanks, the for, thanks for having me. And remember, guys, your money's in your wallet all the time, yes, it's in your control. You know, it's yeah. not you're not paying it to somebody else, and uh, it's not an ROI contract, it's not a Ponzi, it's a real trading robot. Then you can see the trades on the blockchain. blockchain. That's Correct. the beauty of it. Okay, Pride, thanks, buddy. Yeah.